Hallo und willkommen zu diesem neuen Video. Das Interessante an der folgenden Manufaktur an Armand Nicolette ist, dass sie aus alten Zeiten, aus den 60er, 70er Jahren etc. alte Venuswerke und andere Werke haben, neu aufbereiten und quasi diese Vintage-Werke in einem wunderschönen Optik in neue Uhren integrieren. Und das wissen leider die allerwenigsten. Und am Ende des Videos gibt es einen ausführlichen Vortrag dazu von Rolando Braga, dem Besitzer von Amor Nicolette. Ich wünsche ganz viel Spaß. I'm sure that our style, because it's classical, but it's interesting, it's yes. really liked by German market. For example, here is our manufacturing... I can take it? Yes, you can take it. It's our manufacturing, uh, our OHM collection, is limited editions. The main point of this collection, it is inside original historical movement. So this is why it is OHM. So this, uh, um, for example, This watch is there only 300 pieces and inside is, is the movement FHF uh, from 1957. Nochmal kurz von mir eingehakt an dieser Stelle, überlegt euch das mal. Dieses Werk, was hier in dieser Uhr verbaut ist, ist ein Originalwerk von 1957, das Armand Nicolette mit eben speziellen Methoden so aufarbeitet, dass diese Werke heute den modernen Ansprüchen genügen, im Chronometerbereich zertifiziert werden können und trotzdem noch so atemberaubend schön aussehen wie eben ein Vintage-Werk von 1957. Es ist irre. So this one is uh, Collection L16 we presented two years ago, but it's still in production. It's only 300 pieces for each color. Usually we use using four for each color. For each color, 300 pieces. So gray. Blue, It's manual winding. Manual winding, yes. And uh, how many hours does it last? Uh, usually it's uh, 38 hours because you know it's a historical moment. Yeah, you yeah, cannot yeah. So one more collection which was as well below. It's Here you can see a little bit skeleton and inside the skeleton you can see Amal Nicole as a logo. And here is for example more classical with small minutes as well OHM collection. Uh, a new one is from 1956, uh, just small second. As well FHF uh, movement but a different, um, different style. So as well only four colors of dial. And what else I can show you is from that part. So this is our new collection of this year of 2018, GS2. It is a contemporary collection. Uh, the ceramical bezel and uh, it's smooth. So it's like have to be. It is for uh, 30 atmosphere, so it's a diving watch classical one, the design done by Italian our um, office and is done in Tramit manufacturing in Tramit line. Is it with a manufacturing movement? No, this is ETA inside. Okay. Uh, we always, uh, the, our knowledge is which we had from our OHM movements, we usually provide to ETA movements, so we modified it to make it a little bit more unique. Mm -hmm. So this exists in rose gold, I saw it. Huh? It's not rose gold, it's it will be rose with a rose, yes, yeah. but it's not a gold. It's not gold? Yes. But it because looks amazing, on the yeah, photo it looks amazing. It's, it's, in real I'm sure it will be looks the same because I did not see the prototype as well, not yet. I the can show you one more, uh, 1,600 Swiss francs. It's okay. Yeah, absolutely okay. Yeah, it's a nice surprise. For example, I can show a very interesting collection as well. The last year which we present. Oh, it is jumping hour. This is as well. Yes, take it. Take this one. It is a uh, jumping hour. So, um, which is the uniqueness is the first time uh, when we done totally our movement. 
because uh, originally we have a movement from 1970s, which is jumping hour, but it only was a few, so we make a replica of these movements, and it's manufacturing movements like OHM, but it is a new one. We've done some modifications, but it's originally new hour watch, jumping hour. So the, the one and two jumps like a date. Yeah, yes, it's one, it's hours, minutes and seconds. Yeah. So when the seconds is run from zero, zero to zero, five, uh, they jump. Ah, great. The white That's one funny. we have as well. Ach, mal was Interessantes, ne? Ja. The jump is perfect. And this is, for example, Arc Royal, as well contemporary collection. So it is inside the tab movement. Uh, four com uh, three combinations is day data, chrono, 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 and the complete calendar. And again in uh, four colors: white, blue, black, and gray. Uh, which is the interesting is the gray. It is going with a DLC case. Mm -hmm. So it is not Pavede, it is DLC diamond like carbon. It's very strong because the last Matches. yes, because uh, the it is the modification of Stalin steel. So it's go it's um, make it more stronger, and the coloring is going deeper inside. So you cannot like when you use it, it will be not get. Um, getting off only when you really scratch for a few millimeters. For example, I saw sometimes uh, like uh, really take take out the, some piece of metal and it's, it's still black. <laughs> There's a real moon face? Uh, yes. Sure. And we have the white one. And you can use a different type of the straps. So not only the crocker one, but uh, the leather one. Or for example, I think I don't have it here. Maybe. By the chance. It's a black decanter. It's a black how many costs this? This costs uh, the um, day data start from 2,800 Swiss francs. Could be less, could be start from 2,000 if it is on the um, on the classical like a leather uh, leather strap and uh, the complete calendars and chrono one the same price 4,600. I have one more J09 collection as well, contemporary one. Very interesting. So we have a different type. It's as well DLC. Yes, it's, yes, it's a Lady One OHM. It's beautiful. Yes, it's a Lady One OHM. This is the one Here is like a more classical one. It's more than part of the Yeah. Is it Yes, this is OHM manufacture. Uh, 500 pieces. It is inside, it is um, the movements of 1960 FHF as well. Uh, it is uh, this exactly that watch. It is a combination from Stalin steel and rose gold. So the base is done from the rose gold 18 carats and the crown. And uh, it is five diamonds on the dial. Could be the version then the basil as well complete of diamonds or as well the uh, lashes here as well with the diamonds or completely case with the diamonds so the woman can choose which they like and this one is not manual wind it's automatic it's done that the woman 
will go more easier for us if you use it every day. It's not stopping. Um, it's really Maybe beautiful. Plus 6,500. Yeah, because of the gold one, uh, the gold uh, bezel. If it is uh, stainless steel, the start point from 4,900 Swiss francs. And this part. It's a running uh, joke for clockmakers. And this is part one collection. This is really mine. It's close. Buchtig. It's close. Yes. You know, I like this kind of watches. Big, strong, like me. <laughs> <laughs> so this one starts where? From 2,500 to 600 because of the DLC and uh, 500 if it's Stalin still. How big is it? 45? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. this is from Woman, the um, collection, this well, the sport one. So it's like you can choose. Uh, so we have only two women collections. Here's the classical one OHM and uh, this one. And start that? Um, the start point is as well from uh, 2900. The last, it is as well our OHM, but this is most rare one. Unfortunately, it is on the type. So, und jetzt kommen wir zu einem weiteren Highlight. Diese Uhr hier, von der wird nur eine im Jahr produziert, und zwar aufgrund des Werkes. Es ist ein Original-Venus-Werk von 1949 verbaut. Guckt euch jetzt gleich, wenn ich diese Uhr drehe, dieses traumhaft schöne Werk an. We still have original Venus from 1949. This is, mm. yes, uh, from 1949. New old stock. New old stock, yes. It's an uh, old movement, but uh, it's totally brand new because we, de we, uh, we clean it, we uh, put uh, the design uh, and not only improve it. So it is a chrono one, uh, because Venus is a chrono one. We still have only the few, this is why it's only 30, uh, 30 pieces. Oh. And the start price point is from 28,000 Swiss francs. We are the only company in the world that has a stock of original old movement mm -hmm. produced in the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s, because our company was uh, one of the biggest making the T1, T1 in the watch industry, especially in the past. You have the production of the parts, then when you assemble, especially on complicated movements like this one, this is a Venus 188. Yes. <coughs> when you assemble the parts, are not enough precise and you need a specialized watchmaker that can set them properly. This is in <coughs> the industry is called T1. Mm -hmm. Then when once the movement is set perfectly, you put the dial, you assemble the watch, and we call this processing T2. Our company was one of the best, and especially in the 50s and in the 60s, uh, as you know, Rolex and uh, Patek, had, they had no their own chronograph caliber. And you can find inside the Venus, all the Venus was a set that you one made inside our company. So, on that period yeah. of time. Yeah. No, also it. later. Yes. Till when till when Venus stopped the production. Okay. You can see a clear example of what we do today. These are the original movements we still have. <coughs> here you have different calibers with the production here. Yeah. Including the plate of the Venus. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. and yeah. the production here. Yeah. So we still have in our factory a lot because we was used to produce for the other brand, yeah. not too much for the other brand. Yeah. Then uh, at the end of the 70s, early 80s, arrived the quartz, mm -hmm. and for the industry it was like no, no more mechanical because the quartz is more precise, yeah, more yeah, available, yeah. and so on. In German it's called quartz crisis, yeah. yeah. Quartz crisis. So our company that was uh, uh, focused only on this, 
practically closed. We tried to reconvert, but we had a lot of mechanical movement still available today. So here you can see an example. Uh, then we can show you. Take the torch. For example, this, that one is the FHF9. Exactly. So this is the original. You made FHF? No, we was making the T1. Are you make parts of them? No. No. We was we put together. No, at uh, then. They producing the parts ah. FHF, and we put together all these parts exactly. and the movements of work. Yes, yes. So okay. This it's, is it's, I what I, what I explained before. So we was buying from FHF, Unitas, Eta, mm -hmm. uh, Venus, and so on the parts. RS. Yes. Yeah. Ex RS or yes. many other because we have more PUV. PUV. Mm -hmm. We had more than 200 diff we still have more than 200 different calibers okay. in our company. Small quantity, 30 pieces, 100 pieces, maximum 1,000, and we recover. But recover doesn't mean simply wash it, oil, and assemble yes, it. Yes, I, I understand it. Here you can see the example. This, the, there, this is the original piece, the Nunitas 600. This is a unique job. Only Nicolas yeah. do that. The watchmakers of the world don't stand by your door and say, if you only, only parts of a Venus 175. <laughs> yes? We still have, but we don't have only the parts. And reaching this level... It's a long way. Yeah. <laughs> Not only, it's also a question of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because an important part which is at the end of the day, some malist said us, but why you don't produce a new movement? Because we are forced to make a new 3D of the old movement, detecting with the microscope, we reproject internally the movement. It's more working. Yeah. If you come and in the factory, more engineering. We have power. to engineer, exactly. Yes. And then make a new way spring, a new main spring. Yeah. It's not simple. We need to make all the, cal the calculations. And the, but we need to do that, otherwise we never work. And today our movements work in the same manner of a new movement. Mm -hmm. Means check it in five different positions, totally one after 24 hours, with a different in temperature of around uh, 20 degrees. And the delta is a minus zero in all the different conditions mm -hmm. I said you, plus 30, 35 seconds per day. Six minus two minutes per day. Yes. It was not possible with this kind of material. But why we do all this kind of job and we don't produce a new movement? Now comes the more interesting part. Because a mechanical movement, to be really precise, need to have the interference between the teeth of the wheels with a tolerance of around 2 micro. Yes, Otherwise, move. No machine also today can make all the holes mm. with a precision of one, two microns. The distance between the different holes. So at the end of the day, the only way to produce and be sure is uh, the old system. You make the holes, but then you have it like a press with a tool that make the right position of the holes. Then you can be sure that the movement is perfect. Okay. And this is the reason why when you produce a new movement you have to invest millions because at the end of the day to find the perfect position you have to use the old processing. Otherwise they work but they will never last like the old movement for one century. From the customers? No. Uh, the problem, this is the problem. We have taken close to 25 years to set up a system internally that works. Because it looks to be simple. When I bought the company 25 it's years simple. ago, everybody in the industry said, this guy is stupid. Yeah, it's stupid yeah. Exactly, throwing away the money. Take a new one. Back. Exactly. Now are the same guys that come and say, ah, you had the vision. Because everybody I watch today makes no sense as an instrument. It's a jewel. Mm -hmm. So people buy a jewel, but the jewel that is produced in one million piece per year yes. is not so much a jewel. While today we can make limited edition for a reasonable price, 
democratic luxury. <laughs> and at the same time, it's a long-term investment. It's a long-term investment because we have 500, 300 of many calibers. We can work for the next 20 years of this How much? Is much? Uh, makes sense to recover this caliber when the quantity we have is almost of three or four hundred. Because the investment to produce the new parts, the engineering, the tech, create the 3D. It's too expensive. Exactly. Uh, it's true that more caliber we recover and less expensive will become for us because many parts, for example the assortments, in the 40s, in the 50s, and the Swiss industry had uh, have a, a, a catalog of the Azuag uh, companies, probably 30, 40 different companies, Eta, Felsa, mm -hmm. Fontamelon, mm -hmm. uh, Peseur, blah, blah, blah. Each one with 30, 40 different caliber. At the end, the catalog is like this. Mm -hmm. Probably three or 400 different calibers of different Not companies. More. But they was using only 11 different assortments. Because of the system was using only 11 different assortments. So we started to make the new, the recover of the caliber to produce only a couple of different assortments. Means that huge investment can be split probably of 10, 12, 3, 4,000 different movements, reducing the investment. Otherwise, each movement will cost us 5,000 Swiss francs. And then how you can sell them? Yes, yes. But it I'm right. It's perfect. Yeah, the müssen uns. Sorry, time is over. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Nein, I thank you. Ja, das war's von diesem Video. Wenn ihr bis hierhin dran geblieben seid, alle Achtung, denn es ist ja doch ein langes Video, aber ich finde es persönlich hochinteressant. Und ähm, schreibt mir nochmal in die Kommentare, ob ihr es bis hierhin geschaut habt und ob ihr es wirklich ganz geschaut habt. Denn das finde ich immer interessant. Ich mache mir ja doch viel Arbeit mit den Videos und ich freue mich immer, wenn sie bis zum Ende geschaut werden von euch. Ansonsten wünsche ich euch noch einen wunderschönen Tag, was auch immer ihr gerade macht. Bis dahin mal. Ciao, ciao.